<laughs> right, Paul. <laughs> so what do you think of that then? Well, I'm absolutely excited to get through to the final. We've won nothing yet, but we've played against a good Rossington team today. I think they're probably with us, the second best team in the league to Emily. And we've played reasonably well, they've played reasonably well. It's, you know, it's a lottery in it, the five the penalties. and First time I think we've scored five penalties in a row. So Was it a kind of game that you expected? Yeah, it was always going to be KG. I went to watch them on Tuesday and I thought they should have, on balance of play against Emily, they should have probably won that game. Yeah and they'd rested a couple of players to play today and yeah it was it was an even game very even game there weren't many clear cut chances i thought the second half we probably had the better of the play uh, without creating too many clear cut chances and then jace davis you know when he came on and he's he's hit it from what 40 45 yards yeah and it's hit the bar it looks all for a goal. I'd be know. worthy of winning any game. Yeah. the best ever yeah. goals at Gap, I'm sure. So unfortunately, it came back off the bar and it goes to penalties. But we've we've taken some nice penalties apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I've never watched them. I've never watched them in my life. So I didn't see the last one. Did Harry? Harry saved, saved it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I think they were all telling him to go the other way, and he dived what he thought right, and yeah. he pulled off the save. So fair play to Harry. Yeah, he's he's a great keeper. And, We've been pleased to get him from Pontefract at the start of the season and he's done really well for us. So, all again next week? Yeah, yeah it'll be, be a good game against Albion because you know, they're a good defensive team. Uh, and it'll be nip and tuck like this, you know, semi-finals and finals are always cagey affairs and hopefully we can get the same result, but I'm sure they'll be obviously trying their hardest to get, get through and get promoted. But I think I think the club, it'll be great for the club and it's great for the gaff of town supporters. We've had nearly a thousand people here today, which is amazing for from where we were a few years ago to where we are now so it just shows that the, the club is structured to to play higher whether it's this season next season or the season after i'm sure the club will get there because it's being run very very professional and you had a couple of injury issues didn't you before the game yeah jordan you know he's trained and he's he's had a scan on his knee and he he got told by a physio yesterday that he shouldn't play, even though he trained on Thursday and felt fine. So that was a bit of a blow to us. Uh, but we've got a big enough squad. You know, I've had to leave Dents out, who's been one of my you know, best centre halves for, for many years, which is a tough decision. But Dents understands he's part of the coaching team as well now. So sometimes Father Time catches up with all of us and you just have to call it a day eventually. But he's a great clubman. Same as Toby, they're going to be a, a long, they'll have a long future at Garth of Town.